Hello there, everybody. It's time for another episode of Bars vs. Hens. Um, today, they're going to be fishing or angling. And uh, they'll be using their mouths. Uh, there's some fish. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Brilliant work, everybody. Round of applause. See you guys soon. I haven't got to the good bit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You've got all different species of fish there with various amounts of eyes. Now, the different coloured fish have different points appointed to them. Oh. And some of them are minus points. These are bad fish that will cause cancer if you eat too much of them over the long term. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You've got one-eyed fish there, cyclofish, and uh, you get Blinky, apparently the fish oh, yeah. with three eyes from The Simpsons is called Blinky. He's making a little appearance. The purple ones are called Mori Godoris. The yellow ones are called urine fish. Mm. Nice piss fish. <laughs> yes, in the, in the common vernacular. So you haven't actually told us which colour um, corresponds to which points? No, you will not know this. <gasps> that is the game of mystery. That is the oh. random element. That Maybe is the it's safer not to fish. Yeah, it probably might be. Actually. It might be because you could end up with minus points. So that if that is your strategy, we'll all hate nah, you for no it. Fun, and, it? Uh, yeah. yeah. No. I still think there's a chance that Barry will be robbed here. And I think either of us could be robbed. It's like yeah. bloody Mario Party. You get to the end and it goes, oh, well, actually, all those stars you work for are meaningless because you lose them all and he gets loads for no reason. Oh, really? Doesn't sound like a very good party. The pink one's known as... I'm not going there. Don't go on. <laughs> Follow through. Family friendly content fish. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> Barry. That's uh, exactly what I was going to say. Shall I give the breakdown of what possible scores the fish might have? Yes, yes please. please do. So you go from plus two, which is, I believe, the highest scoring fish, down to plus one. Some of them are worth minus one, and some are worth minus two. Is that correct, that Paul? That is correct. Okay. Are uh, any correct. of them worth zero? No zero fish. No. Okay. So just there are zero, fish. zero point fish. Okay. And we've got colour-coordinated rods. Yeah. And we have a minute. Yeah. You have a minute, and uh, good luck to you both. Have you, have you ever had a pink rod in your mouth? Not this week. <laughs> Family friendly content! <laughs> Labia fish, that's what the pink ones are called. <laughs> <laughs> Let us get into the fishing position. Get into positions. Or angler's cramp, as it's Oh, we're doing it at the same time? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Now, there, there should be no rod jousting. Yes, I was going to say. Is there... Okay. <laughs> No fighting with the rods and tr just be cooperate and go for uh, separate fishes, yeah? Right. Just give it, give it a little practice with the, m the mouth manipulation. I want to see that. Let's see it. I can't point it over there. Uh, that's a nice uh, practice. You want to practice dunking? Oh, oh. oh. No, 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 no. Sure, no, there'll be points deducted. No. <laughs> oh. Because they rise in one area, don't they? So we could, as long as we stay sort of static like a mm. nodding dog. You might yeah. get a good motion going. Like. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, yeah, yeah. I'm going to pick one colour and friendly. just stick with it and hope it's a positive one. Yes, yeah. I mean, that is a good strategy. Have yeah. you thought of your strategy to avoid being robbed? Just to here, try Barry? and pick up one fish would be a massive accomplishment. <laughs> okay. Uh, like, just really... get one fish. That's yeah. your. Okay. Yeah. Stuart's going to go for one colour. Barry's gone for the more realistic goal one fish. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to lean across. And start. You're both ready. Yeah. Mm. Are we got Just to time say, us? I saw this going around earlier. And it gave me actual motion sickness. So if I throw up, I will need to run out the door. Then I'm. Then you will forfeit yeah. the game if you vomit on the device. So I could still win technically, like we said. Like, yeah. yeah, it's possible. You ready? Uh, 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 I'm uh, turning uh, the mechanism on. Uh, 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 when I turn the mechanism uh, uh, on, the timer will start. Ready? Go. <laughs> no jousting. <laughs> Stuart's got a fish. 45 seconds left. Barry, oh, oh, he's had a fish. The fish is now on the side. The fish is wasted. It will rot there. Oh. Barry has another, has a fish. He's actually got a fish. Oh, there's dead fish littering the deck here. 30 seconds. Stuart's stuck to his plan. He's got two red yeah. fish. Oh no, it's no. Mm. <laughs> 15. <laughs> it's 
Stuart's gone, it seems to have abandoned his plan for one colour and he's gone for the multi-eyed Lovecraftian monster Four, fish. Mouse, out of mouse, rods out of mouse. Oh. Now let's see what you've got. Did you get an orange one? No, we've got three red. Oh yeah, it's this lighting. Barry killed my other fish. <laughs> I was going to go for some purple just to give it a bit of because I had nothing else to do, but I failed to pick one up. It was starting to tickle my tongue a little bit. I got excited. So now, I'm... let this be a lesson to everyone. Look at the amount of wastage on the deck, and that's what happens in industrial fishing. We should all think <laughs> about that. Industrial s fishing simulator. <laughs> I could still have won. Quite, you could have won by a big I margin. I have a 50 50 chance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it looks, unless Stuart has picked a minus fish, he's got this in the bag because he has three more fish than Barry. Yeah, good okay. skills. So, let's have Barry score first. Barry got an orange fish, yes. and Barry only gets one point. One point for oh, an orange fish. fish. Okay. Hey, now, hey, if these are in the positive end of the number scale for score points... <laughs> the scale? <laughs> uh, then you've won again, Stuart. Okay. How much, Paul, are the red fish worth? Minus one point. Oh, oh Barry's oh, done it! Oh. <laughs> yes! You picked wrong! Well... Entirely tactical. Much like YouTube, the more effort you put in, the less you get out. Yeah. Demonetisation in a plastic yeah. pond. Shall I say fuck, just to... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hammer that home, yeah? Ugh. Barry was Rod. I am slightly worried. <laughs> Barry was Rod. <laughs> I'm slightly worried that Paul just made that up to let you win on the fly. I don't know. Can we... Very... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! How dare you! <laughs> <laughs> it's my track record of bad point scoring yeah. to suggest that maybe it was rigged in Barry's favour. It was not rigged oh. in Barry's favour, but Barry wow. it lucked well out. Well Mr Barry. I got one. What's that, like uh, 22? Is that the uh, score now? Something like that. Yeah. 13 to 8. The comeback is on. So there's this travelling businessman, and uh, he's in a small town, uh, and he's at a loss what to do. He's there for a few days, <laughs> and uh, he he decides to go to the circus. There's a circus outside town, and he sees a poster, the great stupendo. Uh, you will marvel, the poster says, at what the great stupendo can do, and he's he's intrigued. He's uh, Curiosity's peaked, so he goes to the, the tent and he goes in and the great stupendo, the lights go down, the great stupendo comes out. Uh, there's a table in the middle of the stage, as I say, with three walnuts on. The great stupendo comes out, he's got a dressing gown on, velvet dressing gown, very showy. He takes it out, he's naked, he goes to the table, he gets his manhood in his hands, one at a time. He breaks the coconuts. Uh, not coconuts, giving it away now. <coughs> the uh, hazelnuts. <laughs> Why are they walnuts? <laughs> walnuts, right? <laughs> he smashes each walnut, okay? Everyone claps, and uh, our, our, our hero goes back to the town, goes to bed, and thinks, that was great. What a great show. I'm glad uh, I went and did that. Several years later, he's in the same town. And he's like, oh, I haven't been here for years, you know? I'm here again. I wonder if that guy is still around, the great stupendo. Um, so he goes out of town, goes to the circus. There it is, the great stupendo. The poster's there, the tent's there. He walks in, lights go down, everything seems the same. Uh, the great stupendo comes out, he's visibly older, but apart from that, it's the same. But on the table, there's three coconuts. So the great stupendo, you know, takes his gown off, goes over to the table with the coconuts, and. Uh, Aye, aye. He smashes each coconut in turn with the he helmet of his penis. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I leave for two <laughs> fucking minutes. No, and so he's like, I can't believe that. I mean, that is incredible. I've never seen anything like that in my life. You know, this guy, th what? <sighs> so he hangs out. He's, you know, he gets a bit, you know, starstruck. He hangs out and he thinks, I'm going to have to meet this stupendo. And, uh, he, you know, Stupendo's having a drink backstage. He goes, oh, sorry, thank you. I just wanted to say I love the act. Um, that's brilliant. Um, you know, I saw you several years ago, and it was, it was Walnut. Um, wh why have you, how have you moved on to 
doing coconuts. And the great stupendo goes, well, you know, you get older, your eyesight goes. That's it. That's the joke. It's eyesight. You can't see the... That was a lot of build-up for... Uh, wow. Did you get that tissue, Stu? Yes. <laughs> I did. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. I th <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cut, then. Fine. Well, that was an experience. What, man? Labia fish.